Um, can you explain us a little bit uh, in a nutshell? What's Inverready? Inverready is a venture capital fund. We have different uh, investment strategies, but one of the ones that are well, different investment verticals, if you like, one of the ones by which we're more better known is the investment in the digital economy, if you like, no? the typical VC who invest in, uh, in early stage startups uh, like you guys here. But besides this practice, we also do uh, biotech and then uh, venture debt, which is a vehicle of debt you know, for a more kind of uh, larger companies. And now we even have a, a convertible debt uh, fund for companies which are qu quoted companies in the small exchanges and so on and so forth. So, so we've diversified from um, our original, uh, let's say, startup VC. Uh, in dif differentiated from typical VC, you're doing lots of stages. You're investing in different stages. You have yeah. different investment products. Exactly. No? Which is what I was, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So ca how can you manage all of these different vehicles, different uh, kind of investments? Do you use different teams? You have exactly, different exactly. Teams? We, we have different, uh, we are a partnership, and every partner, and, and we have uh, we're six, manages a different uh, vertical in, in our uh, in our operation, and uh, I myself, I'm, I'm the CEO of the of the company, but but uh, I manage particularly the digital uh, side, no, the, the the VC, the early stage uh, VC. Since yeah. you started, how many projects uh, have you invested? In how many projects have you invested, and how much money? Okay, we we have um, raised uh, some six hundred million, uh, more or less, of which. We have we, we probably invested uh, around 400 or something like that in more than uh, uh, probably around not quite 150 companies or something like that. And I'm talking about all the funds eh? in all the different uh, disciplines. Most of the investments have been early stage investments. Mo most stage? most of the investments are from the uh, IT and the biotech funds, which are very early stage. We invest very small uh, tickets at the beginning, uh, anywhere from uh, from 200 to, to a million uh, euros, and then we do, we do follow ones eventually, but uh, but we're very focused in this uh, in our VC practice in early stage. How, how long do you stay in the company? So do you do follow on investment forever? There's a point in which you go out of the company? We, uh, we stay in the company you know, uh, uh, as uh, our, our vocation is to leave as early as possible, obviously, <laughs> no, because we we, ha we want to return the money to to our for, to our investors. But we, we would normally stay in average five, six, seven years uh, in, in the company, and uh, but this doesn't mean that we go to all the different uh, rounds, no, because our funds are small, and uh, and uh, in in a given fund after Series A, we normally we do not. Uh, invest uh, anymore besides potentially series B but but not much more what would this is with, with the original funds then then what it happens in many cases is that a given company is then invested by another of our funds which do later stage okay okay what, what could make you get to this make these exceptions no what could make you go to these B rounds C rounds what could happen in this company that you would do that so uh, is, no, normally it would, would be that, uh, that the company doesn't have a very large uh, round no? that is, it, okay. and, and there are no other, other uh, investors. But normally after a Series A we let somebody else take the lead, another big fund take, take the lead and then we would, if, if, if our ticket is not necessary to kind of uh, to support the company or anything like that then then we will not uh, go. Mm -hmm. What have been your biggest success in terms of company? Company you invested with? Yeah, the biggest, the biggest success is a unicorn, right? Uh, which is a uh, mass mobile. Mass mobile was a, is a, is a billion, it was sold uh, recently for, for $5 billion and we were one of the original investors. So, so that was. Second that was and third? 
and sec- this is quite famous mass mobile uh, is quite famous last year we we sold a company to facebook for uh, 50 uh, million then we have floated in the in the ex- in the small exchange markets uh, five companies and uh, and today they they have uh, valuations in no, in in, uh, in these uh, quarter markets that go between uh, 100 to 400 million so so they they, they starting to become very uh, valuable in particular atris a company in the biomedical space which has recently made an ipo to another big company uh, so we've we've done a few the the VC model is a is is a model that uh, looks for an outlier, and you definitely found an outlier with Mass Mobile, uh-huh. uh, and and it's it's quite famous how your LPs are very happy with the mm-hmm. returns of that sure, fund. Sure, uh, sure, sure. That's uh, that's incredible this this case, but um, what's the profile of the entrepreneur that you are looking for uh, in this early stage mm-hmm. uh, phase of a project in which there's still nothing. Uh, what, what do you look for in, in the team, in the we'd, project? We would look for a, for a combination of uh, vision, right? So, so we, we like people who have a very good understanding of the market in which they want to play, and they know, what, they know why what they're doing is a disruption, and, uh, and therefore can generate you know, a, a, a big money. So, so that that capability of see through change no where, where nobody else has uh, has seen it is is one of the things we we like uh, the most and uh, and then we would l- go to things very uh, uh, the, the, the more more common if you like no that uh, not that that the team would show some leadership and and how you show leadership that that you've been able to recruit a good team uh, so we look very much at the people that the founders have been able to engage, even if it is only two or three because it's a very small team, but who are those people and, uh, and how did they come together? And, uh, and sometimes you recognize no, that the way three or four people have come together is because there is one who has, who is a, has some sort of magnet no, that, that has some charisma that, ca- that, that help him recruit. And, uh, and that would be very important because that's what our startups or everybody's have to do. No, they have to recruit talent, and uh, and uh, talent attracts talent, and so that that be one of the things that uh, that we would be looking at. Was that the case of Mass Mobile? It, it, the company when we invested it wasn't so much. Uh, it, it, it had already four or five million uh, revenue, so it was it was not so so small. Eh? And uh, but yes, we liked a lot uh, many. Uh, we, we, we thought that uh, that he could pull it off. And, uh, mm-hmm. What have been your three last investments? Three last investments. We invested in uh, uh, one in, uh, in in aerospace. We we closed uh, last uh, week, I think it was, or no, almost three weeks. Uh, in aerospace, is a company who's building uh, electric motors, no, to put in satellites in these very these, these satellites that go in very low orbits and uh, normally have no motors so they start spinning till they fall so with these uh, very very light motors they're building they'll be able to put motors in in satellites that they don't have today so they'll be able to spin uh, longer if you like and, and you know how this this uh, is one of the biggest uh, trends in in technology today is the whole uh, uh, aerospace uh, uh, industry is growing a lot since uh, Elon Musk uh, decided to know that the things could be done different in aerospace. It has created a great revolution, and we have already three companies in aerospace in our uh, in our portfolio. That was one. Another one is in in data management, a company who's uh, helping streamline the whole process of uh, of curating the data so that it's easier then for. Uh, no, the whole AI industry, which uh, requires a lot of data and, and, and has to be kind of um, uh, treated, uh, let's say, uh, streamline the process of, of abstract, extracting data, uh, information from this data. That would be a second one. And, uh, and then uh, we also closed a little bit uh, uh, a few months uh, earlier 
uh, a, a wallet for a Bitcoin, for, for a cryptocurrency, a, a cryptocurrency uh, uh, exchange, which is doing, as you can imagine, extremely well. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, everybody in crypto is doing uh, very well today. So they, we, we, we were lucky there that, uh, that we invested it at the, right, uh, at the right time. What sectors, markets are you looking at? So, so that's no. In general, in our we, we look at a, as you can as you probably have seen from my answers, a deep tech. No, we we, we, we like a lot the, the, the underlying technologies that that uh, not that enable the digital world. So uh, all the disciplines of uh, uh, artificial intelligence uh, with uh, uh, cyber security, IoT. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, and IT infrastructure, uh, telecom, etc. No, everything that goes in making everything that probably has been presented today uses it one way or another. Eventually, we will do some some B two C, but not a but not a lot. Uh, it has to have. If we get into B two C, it will have to be capital efficient or or have a strong. Uh, uh, differentiator, a strong kind of barrier of entry. You know, uh, an exception would be, for example, Volava. I don't know if you, yeah. you, you know, it's a, it's a peloton of Spain, and, a, and we, we thought it had a, some good barriers of entry. And, and so we loved today we were discussing a project that was doing American model or somewhere else models in Spain. Sí. Volava was one of these cases. It's, it's a copycat, yes, because the it, it, it's exactly uh, not looking at, uh, at what uh, uh, Peloton was doing. But uh, I, I, uh, one of the reasons why we ended up investing is because I, I realized that the CEO uh, was, uh, was not a guy, it, who, he had a very profound understanding of, uh, of the market and the product. It came from a product marketing uh, mentality, not from a land grab, no, let's get the Spanish market mentality. He was not a, 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 a go-to-market mentality, but a product mentality, which I love, and has uh, allowed this to this. This has allowed him to take the the the, country, the, the business into different kind of uh, in ways that it can differentiate uh, enough from from Peloton to to be valuable. It's a long story, but. Uh, uh, very interesting one. Is well, you had uh, uh, Joel in your... In your uh, we, had, we had Joel uh, here. Yeah. We, we look at the project. We didn't invest. <laughs> uh, but we did a podcast, very interesting podcast. Yeah. By the way, we also did a podcast with, with Ignacio. <laughs> very interesting as well. Yeah. He's um, a great guy. How is he doing? He's Bolaba. doing very well. Yeah? Very well. Again, he also has had a little bit of help with the pandemic, right? Because, uh, as you can imagine, well, everybody who's doing bikes uh, today is doing very well. But uh, but now no, we we're not uh, constrained anymore, and, and he's still doing very very well. Okay, last question. You are a convinced investor in blockchain. Yes. Why? Well, I I, I believe that um, we, we follow te technology very much. No, and and uh, to put it very very simple, uh, no, if uh, internet was the digitalization of of information. And, and created a big not change in, in as, as as we know right it, it came all, all all the communication changes all the email the the the, the uh, web 2.0 with all the social networks and all that. it was a huge uh, thing no um, and that's and we only digitize one thing which is information right with with blockchain you you digitize assets which it's a little bit abstract, no? But but you can, uh, no? For example, money is an asset, and, and 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 with blockchain you can digitalize it. You can you you can digitalize ownership, no? Uh, think about a, uh, an asset could be a, a a mortgage, no? And and a mortgage is is the most difficult thing to deal with today, no? You have to go to the notary to no? you you you. you have, hey, 800 people have to be involved to, 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 to create something which could be represented digitally. And blockchain does that. So the digitalization of assets could be in itself as important as the digitalization of information and thus create a huge 
a revolution, and it is already creating it. And we, for example, uh, like very much what's happening in decentralized finance, you know, the fact that a contract, which is a, a software piece, which emulates a contract, can substitute a bank in creating lending and, uh, and deposit operations, is creating a, a, a revolution in the finance industry that has not been seen in, 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 I mean, the whole finance industry since it was created 2,000 uh, years before Christ is, is, is based on the principle that two peers get together, maybe through an intermediary, a bank, to exchange something. With software, this is, has changed completely. It's, it's, two, it's people get independently in relationship with a piece of software to get something in exchange. And this piece of software creates all, all the rules, and, and it's not intermediated. It's changing finance forever, and that's amazingly interesting. So we, we believe it, and, uh, and we want to invest uh, more, and we hope there be more projects uh, of this nature in, in Barcelona, because we think it's going to be one of the drivers of growth in the entrepreneurial uh, system. So any blockchain project for those entrepreneurs listening to us, they should come to you. They should, definitely, <laughs> even if they are in, in very early, uh, in very, very early stage. Do they need to be very technical or it can be yeah. business, regular business people, which happens a lot. I mean, business the, people the, the, yeah, it doing is, blockchain. I mean, one, we, we would rather have some technical, uh, it's, it's a very, one of the things we like about this thing is it, it's really transformational thanks to software, no? The, the, there, there is, a, there are a lot of scams, if you like, around the crypto world, a lot of scams, and a lot of them are the ones which are light in technology, no? Uh, so you have to have a little bit of understanding, at least, of where the opportunities are. If you know where the opportunities are, then you'll be able to hire a technical guy. Uh, but, but you have to be aware of where those technical uh, issues are. So know what you don't know would be enough for us. Do you have a technical guy yourself? We have. In Inverredi? We, we're studying it uh, a lot. Uh, we, we're not, it happens with all the disciplines. If yeah. you ask me, I, I don't know anything. I, I'm not an expert in cybersecurity or in artificial intelligence or in data mining. But satellites? We, we, or satellites. But we used to study those things. So we're studying right now. We you know, every every uh, Wednesday we have a a lunch. All the employees, where everybody once per week prepares something related with that field, for example. So we, we're making a conscious uh, kind of effort, if you like, to to learn about it. Great. Thank you, Ignacio. Uh, we know where you are. So <laughs> send you, we're sending entrepreneurs. Thank, Thank you. you for the invitation. Somos un ecosistema de Startups Tech de Barcelona, creadores de Camalún, Kipu y Factorial, entre otras. Ofrecemos más de 5.000 metros cuadrados de coworking a startups y organizamos eventos diarios para discutir negocio y tecnología hasta la saciedad. Desde Idnik Fund invertimos en equipos con capacidad de construir grandes productos y negocios. ¡Te esperamos!